everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about different classifications of clogs. First thing, is a clog on a culvert caused by a beaver? If you remove that clog and the beaver colony is still active, within hours that clog will be back the same way as it was found. Unless it was across a massive culvert, that will take a while for the beavers to put back. But most of the time it's a small, only a few foot culvert, and the beavers will just build a vacuum during the night. That's what I call a clog that will return within the day. Then another kind of clog is one that'll come by every rainstorm. If it's debris in the edge of the road that gets dragged into it, plugging it and flooding the street, or if it's a dirty drainage ditch filled with sticks, debris, and leaves that hasn't been cleaned out in a while, it'll all get flushed over to the nearest culvert, plug it up, going over the road and washing it out. Most drainage ditches have a culvert that is too small. This is most common when you have a brand new drainage ditch where grass is not growing yet. If it's just dirt, there's nothing holding debris back from going over there and plugging the culvert. But like you're seeing on the road in front of me, these drainage ditches are older. They are full of grass, which is gonna hold the debris in place so it can't clog the culverts and they can get away with smaller ones. But let's say these drainage ditches haven't been touched in 10 years. They'll be completely filled in so that the road would be the lowest spot, which would cause erosion damage and wash it out. Now another type of clog would be a seasonal clog, which may only occur in the summer during torrential rain. A lot of streets are now sweeping more often now. and. The only way you're going to get a clog is if there's torrential rain that will bring debris out of the forest, out of people's yards, into the street and plug them, or heavy wind that will knock them down and the surging water will accumulate all that stuff plugging the drains. A seasonal one could also be during the spring thaw when you have rain combined with melting snow causing a giant blast of water, collecting debris out of the riverbed while it's flooding that it usually wouldn't have access to plugging culverts and drains. Those would be seasonal ones. Then you have ones that are semi-seasonal that take a few years to accumulate on average. Then there's ones that are decades in the making that happen just from total neglect. It'll fill in with mud, it'll fill in with rocks that get rolled in there during heavy flow. They can also be by, caused by trash, a tree falls over in front of the culvert, a whole bunch of things could cause that kind of situation. Check it out. Times have really changed with this river. You see this little indentation right here? I remember when I was little, it used to cut through here. But over the years, it's been digging away here. Eventually, it won't be near the road anymore causing this damage. Because you see how it goes around that corner? Eventually, it'll be going right through there. Remember when I first came here when I was little? This was all woods before this eroded. That giant rock was in the middle of the woods. None of this was here. They had to re-engineer this by excavating. But that's pretty good jumping rock right there. Water's crystal clear, so maybe you can't tell. That's three feet deep. But if this was another couple feet higher, you could jump right off that. Perfect. See that right there? That looks like it was created by humans, that dam. But I've seen other similar dams that were actually beaver created, believe it or not. Beavers make very similar dams. And usually you can tell it was them because most of the rocks are smaller. But you'd see stick evidence too. You know what? We're going to take a little walk. Because there's a rock dam up here that the beavers have. And I want you to see how similar it looks. Assuming it's still there. Beavers will make similar dams like this. So, you can tell why that road washed out. Because during the spring thaw, look how big the riverbed gets. Of course it's going to go over the road, but you see slowly 
it's tearing these woods apart. And eventually, I don't think it'll be near the road anymore. Yep, this leads me to believe that was human done, that little dam right there. Because this is human done. Like I was saying here, when I was little, I remember the river was coming through here. Not even close anymore. You can tell by the tree growth, not every year it floods this much. That was thrown up there with excavators because you see it was starting to erode. When wood is deprived of oxygen, like underwater, it takes a long time to rot. Look at that. This tree still had a ball of roots on it when I was little. I remember exactly when that fell over and it's still making a nice turbulent waterfall. Yeah, it's still here. This is the one I was talking about. This dam was created by the beavers trying to dam the river, but they never can because it keeps getting destroyed after every storm. This was a beaver created rock dam. They build the foundation out of rocks and they'll jam sticks against it, leaves and plug the holes with mud. You see the other end of it? How it has the pieces of wood? The beavers tried to dam this river and they kind of did. Look at the stagnant area they created. This is a giant beaver dam right here holding back a giant pond. This is the same place last year, if you remember. I actually built it a little bit higher thinking it was human built and I broke it a few times. I'll link that in the description. A lot of people complained about that thinking I completely built it. Because you're not supposed to dam rivers. But, as you can see, beaver dams and human dams, before they get to the process of putting sticks on top of it, look exactly the same. Yeah, this is too perfect to be a beaver dam. You saw how the other one wasn't even straight? It had a little bit of architecture to it. Because beaver know a straight one's not as strong. If it has a few zigzags, it actually adds structural strength to the dam. Check it out, on this road, during the winter, I had a little bit of an accident here because I didn't have the right tires. Traveling down this hill, only 15 miles an hour, I wasn't hurt at all. Had a little bit of front end damage. Wasn't too bad, could have been a lot worse. But here's what happened. Driving down this road, could not stop because it was ice and you don't slam the brakes on because you'll just slide out of control so I had to come around this I was probably going 15 miles an hour or a little bit less and I started couldn't get off hit the side of the vehicle here putting a dent in the back door then proceeded that bump bumped me back out into the street avoiding this tree then the front end went up here onto this and the front right hit this tree. This damage is from me, right here, hitting this. And that's the tire mark. And if it wasn't for this big hump, the damage wasn't that bad. I would have been able to back off it myself, but I couldn't because in the fall, this damage is actually me. I got under the vehicle with a machete trying to get this thing out of here. Turns out it was just frozen. It wasn't even a stump. So that's my vehicle there. And had to get someone to pull me out that's why I always have straps on me now a few people offer to do it for free but nobody had pulling straps had to get someone out here had to pay to do it and at first I didn't realize that's what was keeping me my wheel was here but there's a giant rock here so I got out with an axe started hitting the frozen ground I got the rock loose rolled it out but nothing would move they regraded this road the rock is right here that I excavated with a pickaxe in my bare hand. That's the rock. See, it's pretty big. Came back here today, try to find pieces of the vehicle. I guess they picked it up. Park rangers pick up trash here all the time because I was missing a mirror. Got to replace now, but I wanted to see if I could find the broken one. Guess not. 
because this is the vehicle or this is the one that ripped off the mirror because I side swiped it the mirror then the back door hit this no damage to that front door just the mirror got ripped off so I looked behind here see the spider webs it's fake spider web somebody put this here scared the crap out of me what is this a geo catch those things nothing in that interesting